what exactly happened after weeks and months of supplementing ashwagandha? Well, let's find out. Hey, what's up, Greg here, the founder of your inception. Welcome to my channel. If you wanna learn top secrets about nootropics and supplements, then subscribe below to start your journey. Today, I'm gonna share with you my experience with ashwagandha. Now, I've been taking it for a while as an individual compound in different forms, which I'll mention soon, and I'll also try it out as a part of a more uh, complex supplement uh, for anti-stress and anti-anxiety. And today I wanna tell you what kind of benefits I got, uh, how I took it, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you if I really recommend supplementing ashwagandha or not. So if you're ready, let's just begin. Now, the first thing you have to know about ashwagandha is that this is an adaptogen herb that has been used for centuries in traditional Indian medicine. So whenever we talk about a herb that has been used for centuries, uh, then we can be kind of convinced that it must be more or less a pretty safe supplement uh, to take, at least now and then. Now, you know, it's hard to say if this is really true until we put it to the test, but at least uh, we know this is not a synthetic compound, man-made compound, but it's something natural you can find uh, and has been used uh, for, for a long period of time. Now, many people supplement ashwagandha because of two main benefits. The first one is it can reduce stress and anxiety. And the second one is that as a consequence, it can boost your energy. Now, if you wanna learn more about the benefits, uh, I made another video which you can check up here and there we dive uh, deep into the benefits of ashwagandha. Now, the reason why I decided to test ashwagandha as an individual compound uh, was uh, because I was really stressed out in the past couple of months. I had so much to do and I wanted to see if ashwagandha is one of the herbs that I tested um, that could potentially help me out. Um, so I was mainly searching for the subjective uh, benefits that I would feel um, and I wanted to see if you know it really provides some kind of uh, benefits, if you can really feel the benefits. By the way guys, have you ever tried ashwagandha? Um, and if yes, did it work for you? Uh, let me know in the comment section below. That would be really interesting to know. So during my test, I actually tried three versions of ashwagandha. I tried just a basic, a normal one, uh, which is a whole plant extract. I don't wanna show you the brand because it really doesn't matter, but just so you know, uh, that's something I was uh, taking. Uh, then I tried Sensoril, which is a branded extract. And then I tried the famous KSM66, which is probably the most potent and the most well-known uh, branded extract of ashwagandha. By the way, if you wanna know the difference between those, I'll make another video uh, very soon and you'll be able to see it up here. Um, so, you know, stay tuned, subscribe, and you'll be able to see what's the difference between those versions of ashwagandha and which one is the best. So um, here's how I started my test. Uh, I took about two to 400 milligrams of ashwagandha in the morning with food. Um, when I was taking the whole plant extract, this one in the liquid form, um, I took about 400 milligrams. Um, I think that was about 50 something, yeah, 56 drops of ashwagandha. Um, and I just put it on a spoon and I uh, swallowed it. It does have the best taste, but it's kind of all right. And when I was taking the uh, KSM and the sensory form of ashwagandha, um, I took a bit lower dosage, about one to 200 milligrams per day, because this is a more potent, in general, more potent version, and you can take a lower dosage. And I also took it with food in the morning, usually. I tried out uh, in the afternoon, but also tried out in the evening. Based on my experience, the best time to take ashwagandha is in the morning with food, because you can then expect to have a whole day long of benefits um, and positive effects, and that's why uh, you're taking this compound in the first place anyway. Now, some people asked me before if you can take ashwagandha in the evening uh, to improve the quality of your sleep. Now, I checked out the studies, and there aren't that many studies showing the positive effects of ashwagandha on sleep quality. And if you don't take really high dosages, we're talking about grams of ashwagandha, uh, it's not gonna make you sleepy. Um, so uh, you can easily take it in the morning uh, or during the day, um, but if you take it in the evening, that's fine as well. Um, I didn't experience any kind of side effects or whatever, um, so that was, that was just good. Now the main benefit I noticed uh, when I was supplementing ashwagandha was um, that I felt more relaxed. Um, it wasn't like, this instant effect that, you know, when I swallowed the drops that I just kind of, uh, you know, I was able to breathe, um, like if you take some other less legal compounds. Uh, but it was more like uh, after taking ashwagandha for a couple of weeks, 
uh, on a daily basis, more or less, um, I was able to deal with stress easily. And that's the point of adaptogenic herbs. That's how they work. Um, they don't necessarily provide this short-term kick or um, anti-stress effect, uh, but it's more like they work, um, they provide more the long-term benefits in a way that I just explained. Um, so you can deal with stress easily. Uh, you have more energy, you feel more relaxed, you feel happier. Now, I also found some comments of people who said that they uh, feel immediate benefits. Um, now, I didn't do that, I didn't feel that, but it, you know, it, I think this really depends from person to person. Now, in general, um, I was really satisfied with ashwagandha. I felt really good after weeks of testing it. And um, based on that, I would definitely recommend trying it out. If you work under severe stress, if you wanna have a bit more energy, feel a bit more relaxed, um, and you know, keep in mind that Ashwagandha provides a whole bunch of our benefits. Um, so um, yeah, it's a very potent and very effective compound. Now the question is, can you take Ashwagandha daily? So every single day for years or uh, whatever. Um, now based on the studies, we don't really know. Um, Ashwagandha has been studied a lot. Uh, there are a lot of human studies done, but we don't really know. Uh, what happens if you take ashwagandha every single day for years. Based on the fact that ashwagandha has been used in traditional Indian medicine for centuries, I think it's very safe uh, also for long-term use, but until we know, yeah, um, one way to do that, uh, to avoid any kind of potential side effects is to, to, to just cycle it. So you can uh, take it for five days on, uh, stay off of it two days, so you take it from Monday to, to Friday, then you don't take it from Saturday to Sunday, and then you repeat the cycle. That's what I usually do with compounds, um, and it's you know it's really good to do that way uh, because you kind of stay on the safe side. Of course, it's need to kind of test a bit what works for you, but um, in terms of pure science um, and uh, you know, scientific studies that we know, uh, we, we can't confirm that you can take ashwagandha for uh, in a longer period without any kind of side effect, but it seems to be super safe. Now, when it comes to dosage, it kind of depends if you only gonna supplement ashwagandha or if you're gonna combine it with our compounds like Bacopa Moneri, you can check my full review up here, or with Yola Rosea, another review up here. I recommend both adaptogen herbs uh, because they're really effective, but you know, check out the videos and you will see for yourself. Um, if you're gonna, um, if you're going to uh, combine ashwagandha with those compounds, then yeah, um, you can probably take a bit lower dosage, uh, somewhere between 50, 100 to maybe 200 milligrams. It depends on the uh, version of ashwagandha that you have. Uh, but if you take it on its own, uh, you can take a higher dosage up to 400 uh, milligrams per day uh, because the other compounds won't really provide the um, compound effects. Um, so it's only ashwagandha that provides the effects. And as I said before, it's recommended taking it with food um, during the day. It's probably the best time uh, to take it. Now, one funny thing is that since ashwagandha can also improve your cognition, you can find it in some brain supplements. But what's more interesting, you're gonna find it more in uh, anti-stress um, supplements. Um, and the reason for that is because yes, even though it can slightly improve your cognition by making you less stressed, it's more of a compound uh, for anti-stress supplements than for brain supplements. So yeah, my final recommendation, yes, absolutely. Ashwagandha in any kind of form is really, really good. It's really beneficial. It can help you out, but you need to try it out for yourself. You need to test it um, and then you will see if it works for you or not. Um, take it for a while. Don't expect to provide any kind of magical benefits after you take it only once, uh, but if you take it for a while, it's gonna build up in your system and um, I think you're gonna be really satisfied as I was. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget subscribing to this channel. I have some really cool videos coming up soon. Uh, don't forget to follow your inception on Facebook, Instagram, and I hope to see you soon, guys. Take care.